You did, Cropsy. <laughs> Uh, I know I'm a dork. Uh, hey guys, thanks for stopping by and just checking out what I've been up to with uh, collecting horror movies and uh, knickknacks and what have you. Uh, I got in a few uh, tapes, a few uh, just cool collectible goodies, and uh, some soundtracks. So let's dive in. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys stopping by and just checking out what I've been up to. So first uh, up is uh, one from Media Home Entertainment. That is Dick Moss's uh, The Lift. I uh, absolutely adore this movie. And uh, just one of those awesome, cool cover arts that I um, definitely wanted to uh, display on my video shelf. So finally came across a nice copy. So that is The Lift. Uh, cool little movie. So that's that. And next one is from Gorgon Video. Another one, big, big hitter off my wish list. And that is Night of the Bloody Apes. <laughs> Crazy movie. One of those drive-in classics. Open heart sword surgery. Um, so, really good condition. Bright colors. So, Night of the Bloody Apes. It's another one of those. I wish it had a poster. I don't think it ever had a poster of this. That would have been pretty cool if it did. Um, maybe someone out there can make a really nice custom poster. Uh, I... I'd order one, so just know that I'd be interested if you know how to make really nice, um, you know, 24 by 36 size or maybe a, a decent 11 by 17. I would definitely order one. But anyway, I'm getting off track. A uh, cool movie, Night of the Bloody Apes. Uh, they don't make them like they used to. So that's that. And then another big box off my wish list is a decent condition for, uh, in decent condition, is Octoman. And I love this cover art. And I like that crazy metallic silver with the metallic green, that sheen. So, uh, awesome early um, FX work by Rick Baker. And just a fun example of zany 70s goodness. So, Octoman. Glad to have this one off the wish list. So, that's that. <laughs> Now we'll get into the soundtracks. Uh, this one definitely flew over my radar. Uh, so this was a nice surprise for me. Is soundtrack for The Keep. Some awesome Tangerine Dream goodness. So let me just set that over here. So glad to have that. I enjoyed it really much. Got a little ding on the corner, but that's fine. That's not a big deal. Uh, probably why I got such a, a good, good mark off. But uh, regular... Uh, Black color record. Um, really, they did a really good job with the soundtrack, so I enjoyed listening to it and uh, loved the movie. So I had to get the keep, add it to the soundtrack collection. So um, yeah, I, I really dig this movie, and, and it's nice to see it getting more love nowadays. So that's that. And then uh, one of the best soundtracks ever. Such a fun movie, and the soundtrack is just. Yeah, speaks for itself, and that is um, Terror Vision. Um, definitely the main theme and gets stuck in your head for days, if not weeks. So I've been eyeing this one for forever. Uh, it opens up, got some cool images from the movie. Late to the party on this one, but finally got a hold of. Finally got a hold of it. So that's an eBay find like a really good deal and that's that that's the two soundtracks I scored recently and I'm slowly chipping away at the ones I want to get next is this awesome life-size uh, replica piece of piranha done uh, by my friend Eric over at the horror man cave um, just a really fun dude and just a, a really nice down-to-earth kind of guy um so uh yeah i had to i had to definitely had to order this off of him he did a really good job on this and i already found a spot for it on my wall and have it hanging up but it's latex like foam and uh, he just did a really good job with the paint and just the, the board that goes with it so i had i had to get this on a sort of result that's um resembles the the classic uh, original piranha movie roger corman goodness so definitely uh 
check his uh, store out. He's got an awesome store full of some good, cool little collectibles. It, it's nice to be collaborating with him. I just started uh, back with working with him on a few things, just a fun little, fun little stuff. So that's awesome. Definitely check him out, Horror Man Cave, uh, Eric. Um, I'll be sure to put a link to his store if any of you guys are interested. I'll, I'll do that for sure. Not a problem. And uh, he also sent me this. This is one of the early uh, collabs that we did together. I don't honestly know what it's supposed to be. I, I kind of just joked around and said it's you could use it as paperweight. <laughs> but it's the Dawn of the Dead. Um, it's just a homage to the poster art, really, just like with just the, head, the zombie head. And I wanted to get the movie title in there somewhere to find some way to do it. So uh, he did a great job with the Risen casting color mix with the blues and the reds i thought that turned out pretty sweet he he's made uh, quite a few uh, amazing color variants um so again that's uh, eric over at the horror man cave uh, so definitely check him out uh, here's the back that's uh, um and this is one of my early pieces so be nice guys it's a little rough uh, this definitely the back piece should have been uh smoother so you can easily read the back but it's not too bad uh, when there's no more room in hell, uh, the dead will walk the earth. So I, I had to fit that in there somewhere. I thought that was a, just one of the all-time best movie quotes ever. Taglines, whatever you want to say. So that's Dawn of the Dead. Um, little collab I, we did together some years back. And as he's finally able to have some time and make those and put those out. So that's pretty cool with him. I'll go through the books later. I still got a few books coming. So I'll do like a horror book or you know, cinema book. I, I really don't know what to call those videos, to be honest with you. But I'll do another uh, book collection update. So I got quite a few more in since the last time. So let me take a breath, slow down. I feel like I'm talking too fast. Um, if you don't do these videos from, you know, anyway. If you don't do them in a while, you get I get rusty very easily. So first deck uh, is a documentary called uh, The Act of Killing. I finally found this for like a reasonable price because I believe this is one of the ones that are like out of print. Alamo Draft House release or Draft House Films release. So one of those uh, sort of shock, well not really a shock documentary, but a documentary on the murders. So I'll check this out. Uh, been recommended to me by quite a few of you guys. So, The Act of Killing. Luckily, I was able to find one for, again, a reasonable price, because I believe that's out of print. Um, and then next up is another documentary of my UFO. Continue on collecting my UFO uh, alien documentaries. Yeah. The Arthur C. Clarke Collection. Um, Mysterious Worlds, Mysterious Universe, World of Strange Powers. Clarke is one of the most inventive scientific minds of our time. So here's the back. And it's really nicely put together. Here's your discs. that next up is i've never seen this before but it looks really cool at least the cover it does auntie lee's meat pies like a horror comedy obviously uh, vinegar syndrome i think this is the same art maybe it's the original vhs art yeah so i've heard bad things uh but I mean, it looks like it would be pretty fun to watch, so check it out when I can. Next is uh, one of the Stephen King movies that I've been on a fence about forever. I've just never seen it, and that's called Bag of Bones. A ghost movie that I read about in one of the books I picked up recently, so that kind of was, that's what pushed me to buying it. It's one of those books I picked up um uh, covers ghost movies so piqued my interest even more so yeah Stephen King's Bag of Bones probably not gonna be able to say this right but this is another one of those like 
crazy bonkers movies that I've had on my wish list for over the years. That's called Bias Mo. Um, interesting story behind this movie about the tragedy, the tragic death of this one actress. Or I believe she was like a porn star. But this movie is supposed to be one of those rape revenge nutty movies. So glad to finally have that off the wish list. So that's another one that had been on my wish list for far too long. But uh, yeah, easy copy to get now. Uh, Barf Bunny, another one that's uh, obviously going to be insanely bonkers. From, who is this from? It's Video Vile Productions. So it's got some cool gore, I believe, done by Marcus. Marcus Cook. I believe that's how you say his last name. I'm bad with names, guys, so I apologize. But Barf Bunny. Supposed to have some really good gore there. Haven't had a chance to watch that yet. Barbarian Sound Studio. Another one that I had been on the fence about. Uh, just been on the fence for a long, long time. Until, again... I purchased one of my of those Jallo books, and this was mentioned there towards the end as far as the newer stuff. So uh, I'm looking forward to checking this out. Just I would watch the trailer years back, and I just still just was not quite sure. So but anyway, Barbarian Sound Studio. It's got a lot of great uh, positive reviews. So there we go. Uh, Beyond Darkness with the Evil Dead 5 slip. So that is awesome. Um, Definitely enjoy collecting these when, whenever Severin's able to do this kind of stuff. So, um, I believe this has been on, been released on the Blu-ray before, so it's like my second copy of this movie. But, uh, I think they added some, uh, new features to this one, I believe. So, unless I'm thinking of another movie, I believe this is like the second time it's been released on the Blu-ray. Next up, upgrade from the DVD, and that is, uh... Asian slasher movie Black Rat. So it's that one. Uh, a little indie slasher called Blue. Uh, where, where did I get this one from? Was this like in eBay? I think I got this off of eBay. Honestly, don't know how I came across it. I think I was just looking for another movie and I read up on this one before I made the purchase and then uh, went back to it and ordered a copy. So Blue, I, don't, I haven't seen it yet. This is an indie slasher. Supposedly it's got some decent gore to it. We'll see. Another one is Blind Beast. I don't think I've ever had this in my collection before. I don't know if this has ever been on DVD before. Maybe you guys can let me know. So Blind Beast. Uh, Blood Desert. This is like a, um, one of those unofficial remakes to, um, this one's an unofficial remake of Scalps, I believe. So that's that. A uh, really nice addition for Blood for Dracula. One of those movies I've always wanted to have in my collection, but the DVD had always been long out of print. I think it was like one of those Anchor Bay, one of those that Anchor Bay had released back in the day. And it was just going for like $80 or more. So, yeah, I just never could have that movie in my collection until now. So, thank you, Severin. So, Blood for Dracula. That's going to be a new one on me. Again, it's another one of those that's got lovers and haters of the movie. But, uh, yeah, I've never seen it before. So, I mean, I like this actor. So, we'll see. Uh, Bluebeard, uh, inspired by a true story of a serial killer. I've never seen any of the Bluebeard movies, so this is one of them. This is just the one from the, yeah, 60s. Kino Larber. Or Lorber, however you say that. Bluebeard. Another one, Bluebeard. Uh, I think from, again, uh, same kind of story. This is uh, 70s. Yeah, 72. that one and then finally this was like back in august this is a back in like it's been years ago um last month this is pretty much the release uh the of the month for me so i've been wanting this movie for so long and it's such a fun movie i love the practical effects and that's the borrower 
So finally, um, thank you, Scream Factory. So a lot of fun. Um, just a weird movie. It doesn't, um, I don't want to tell like two movies in one really. It's, but anyway, I, I just love it. The Borrower, it just reminds me of the, you know, obviously it reminds you of the video store days. Next one is a really nice copy of Bro The Brotherhood of Satan. Pretty cool. Um, this had a Blu-ray release as well, but I forget who put that out first. But, uh, you know, Arrow did an amazing job, so I couldn't help myself. Had to go after this edition as well. So, Brotherhood of Satan. A uh, fun movie. A good movie, I should say. Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. Um, I have the Code Red one, but... Um, or was it Scorpion that released that first Blu-ray? I think it was Code Red. Yeah, it was Code Red. But I had to get it for this uh, reversible cover art, Night, uh, Night Warning. Uh, that's mainly what I know this movie from, uh, of, uh, is this one. But a really well done uh, slasher movie that um, needs more praise, in my humble opinion. So, Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker, or Night Warning, as I know it of to be. Uh, Cannibal Man, also known as like Apartment Terror or something like that. This is the second time this is hitting Blu-ray. Um, a really nice uh, addition from uh, Severin. I forget who, I think might it might have been Code Red, I think, released it the first time. Uh, you guys let me know. It's been a while. I still have that edition just for collector's purposes. I'm, I'm going to keep both of these. Um, but this is a really good movie too. Um, it's been a while since I've watched it, but I need to get on that. So Cannibal Man. Really nice edition of the Cat of Nine Tails now in 4K. So uh, I had to go after this just really cool cover art design here. I do like the original poster arts as well, but um, I just I, I kind of like this. I lean towards this better, and it's just easier to get to be honest. So um, yeah, if I if I don't have to jump through hoops or be quick about some things, then I'll just um, I just go that route. So the Cat of Nine Tails. 4k and uh, obviously i'm keeping that other uh, what is this like dust there we go keeping my other really nice blu-ray edition that arrow put out because that's got some other things that i like that's going for it so i'll keep that and then continue on with collecting some of my asian horrors that i just didn't have uh cinderella pretty cool Never seen it. Uh, Chicken's Blood, SRS Cinema release. Uh, just had to get on this. I had watched the trailer and I was like, yeah, I need to check this out. Looks like a lot of fun. Chicken's Blood. The Collingswood Story, a uh, really great movie. Uh, I, I was going in blind. I'd just never heard of this movie before. So um, yeah, I enjoyed the heck out of it. So um, I kind of found footage for sure. And I, I like what these guys are doing. So Cauldron. Um, very excited for the, about this label. Uh, the Comedy of Terrors. More Vincent Price. I like these solo releases, so they've got me, yeah, they've got me hooked. I, I have to get these. Again, from Kino Larber. The Larber. And then I really enjoy this sequel. I, I dug it. Uh, the Conjuring 3, uh, The Devil Made Me Do It. Um, yeah, I... It's a really good sequel, actually, so, um, and, you know, I just let you guys know, I, I dug the first Conjuring movie, and I, I like Insidious, and I, yeah, I, I'm entertained by this, by these movies, but this one was a, for me, it was a really strong, good sequel, so, yeah, I, I dug it, um, yeah, just like this whole story, and I believe this is, uh, this probably is a good capper to, to end, to end this right here, so I think that's, I think maybe they're just gonna do that, just leave it off that one, maybe, I don't know, it's a money maker, so maybe they'll continue pumping them out, but, um, if that happens to be the last sequel, that's perfectly fine by me, because I thought that was just great how it ended. Crash, another upgrade, uh, cool little movie, uh, put out my full moon, gotta get that, uh, again, another one of those unofficial sequels. This is, uh, quote unquote, Curse 5, Bollywood Bloodbath. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with this one. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's Curse 5, Bollywood Bloodbath. 
um, the dark. I had to double dip or triple or quadruple dip nowadays. Uh, one of my favorite movies. I like it. Um, it's the cool little alien, deadly alien story. So the dark. A horror anthology. I'm looking forward to checking out. I believe this is spent in October. Dark Stories. Another one of those that's been getting um, mixed reviews. So I've noticed. So Dark Stories. And another obscure one. Finally getting its day. So that's awesome. Is A Day of Judgment. So nice to mark that off the... Horrors that have never been on legit disc release. So, nice to mark that title off. It's dusty, I mean, sweet. The floor is getting kind of dusty. There you go. Oh, good going, Tom. Anyway, a day of judgment. I'm going to stop it there, guys. Continuing on with uh, more of the stack. So, uh, later.